No crazy diets, no crazy hacks, no crazy morning routines. This is all I need to plan my week that helps me make a million dollars a year. Just a simple diary, a pen, and a Trello board. Now, I cannot take full credit for the origins of this framework. Are you ready? Peak performance, elevate your game, avoid burnout, and thrive the new science of success by Brad Stuhlberg. Damn, that is a really long title. Combines the inspiring stories of top performers across a range of capabilities from athletic, intellectual, and artistic. Mr. Stuhlberg believes that growth equals stress, and rest. He uncovers how Olympians have intense training periods followed by intense resting periods for peak performance and to avoid burnout. He also adds Olympians plan their days with this top down heavy approach. What this means is that they start their days off with the highest priority tasks and then throughout the day they reduce in terms of importance. So how does this beautiful theoretical concept apply to people like you and me? So I've been in business for the last six years and every single day has been filled with high priority tasks that I need completed. Now to keep up with the workload, I tend to work every single day of every single year. And in doing so, I end up burning out. So how has it all changed? So let's take a look at this calendar over here. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the days and then across the top, we have the times. So for me personally, I generally like to wake up at 5 a.m. and I start work at 6. That's the context. It's not a productivity hack that I've implemented into my life. I just like waking up early. Now, in terms of the top-down heavy approach, this applies on a weekly basis and also on a daily basis. So in terms of a weekly basis, the top half of the week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's where I focus a lot of time and energy on the most important and the highest priority tasks. Halfway through the week, which is the mid period, Thursday, Friday, that's where I focus on mid-level priorities. And then on Sunday, for me, which is the end of the week, and it might be Friday for you, that's where I like to focus on the low priority tasks. Now, in terms of the daily basis, like what does it actually look like on a daily basis in terms of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? As you can see, I wake up at five, I generally start working around six, sometimes at seven, but I really focus on the highest priority tasks. Now there's a catch to this. The highest priority task does not always mean it's the biggest and boldest task that I need to complete. We'll dive into the nitty gritty of what tasks actually go into each segment a little bit after. Then between 9 to 2 p.m., that's where I focus on the high priority tasks. And then between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., and normally I do finish around 4 and from four to five, I'm just simply winding down. That's where I focus on medium or mid-level priority tasks. Now, in terms of Thursday and Friday midweek, you can see that the highest priority task that I will take on is classified as high. It's not the highest of the all the tasks that I need to complete within the week. Then halfway through the day, between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., that's where I focus on mid-level priority tasks. And then between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., that's where I do a lot of the low priority tasks. Now on Sunday, which is the wrap up of the week, that's where I dedicate just a couple of hours after lunch, just simply churning through and grinding out the low priority tasks. Now, if you're wondering, what does this actually look like? So here's my Trello board and I've gone ahead and cleaned out a lot of old tasks just to keep this very, very simple. Now, as you can see on the left-hand side, I've got my to-dos and in progress for today. And then on the completed, you can see tasks that were set for yesterday. Now, it's really important for you to understand that the highest priority task that I normally start the day off with isn't always the biggest, the baddest ones. Because what I've realized after trying out the peak performance method, which is trying to execute the biggest and baddest projects at the start of the day, is that I get quite fatigued throughout the day. And by the time I get to midday, around 12 p.m. or 1 p.m., I'm exhausted and I don't have the tenacity to get through to the end of the day and complete the low and medium level tasks. So what I've done is I've taken that concept from the book and I've modified it and tweaked it a little bit. So instead of starting the day with the biggest and baddest task, 
I generally will get a very important task that is quite easy to complete that really requires no problem solving at all. So for example, you can see this morning, I'm just gonna move this back over into in progress. For morning boost, I have to sign my office agreement because I've just signed up for two years uh, lease for a new office. And I also had to follow up on a proposal. Now, if you see yesterday's highest priority tasks, I had to send a couple of proposals and then I also had to follow up on a few proposals and a few invoices as well. Now, the big task, the biggest and baddest is generally highlighted as the high priority tasks. So as you can see, film how I plan my week. This is actually today's tasks and the filming of this video as you are watching right now is really requiring a lot of problem solving, it requires a lot of planning and it really sucks up a lot of energy. So I don't put that as the first task of the day because that is going to fatigue me and throughout the day, I'll probably lose focus and lose concentration, won't have the tenacity to get to the end and I'll probably just start bludging. So what I like to do is start the day off with some simple, easy tasks that I know I can complete without any problem solving, get that out, get that motivation and then start the biggest and baddest. Now, if you actually think about how Olympians train, I don't believe that they go straight into the most difficult tasks. I believe there is a bit of warm up, there's a bit of stretching, they need to get their bodies ready for the high priority tasks. So the highest priority task is actually preparation. And for people who are working in tech or working in front of a computer, in this context, that would be simple tasks just to get yourself ready, get yourself prepared and warmed up for the heavy lifting ones. Now, as you can see, this gives me the opportunity to focus on a variety of different projects, work in various modes of focus while still providing me a strong sense of progression towards my yearly goals. Ultimately, this framework strategically gives me the right amount of high and low intensity work states, which has honestly helped me prevent burnout. Unlike before, I'm rarely ever under a constant amount of stress because I'm moving between different focus states. Now, I have been using this framework for nearly six months, and I have to say, I haven't burnt out or even have gotten close to it yet. I actually feel like I'm working less, but actually achieving much more than before with a healthier mindset. In my mind, that is a win-win. So hopefully you can take something away from this framework that I've been using as a self-diagnosed workaholic to really plan your weeks effectively to achieve more and burn out less. Now, I do want to reiterate that when I first started, I did try to follow the concept of the top-down heavy approach quite literally. I tried to take on the biggest and baddest project at the start of the day, but once again, I felt quite fatigued. So what I did was I changed it up a little bit. I would always put a very simple task or a few simple tasks at the beginning of the day get them out, build a bit of velocity, build a bit of momentum and a bit of motivation. And that has definitely helped me kickstart my days and actually stay focused while I was doing the biggest and baddest projects. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm keen to hear how you plan out your week. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in another video very soon.